final thoughts before we get out of here. Again, a massive day after. We're over time, but I wanted to get your final thoughts as we head into a bye week. Well, I mean, 4-0 is where you want to be coming into this bye. And uh, there, there are a lot of teams around the country that would like to be there. And uh, You think about Clemson right now is 2-2. Two and two. And Carolina has some margin for error right now because of where they're at and how they've handled things up to this point. Winning your first conference game on the road. A road conference game is a big deal. You win a game on the road in conference, you'll take that every time. Even if it looks ugly down the stretch, whatever. You take every road win and you're just glad to have it. Uh, this team's in position to, to contend. They've got some warts, but look around the country. Is there a team that you've seen so far that doesn't that that has played a complete game or doesn't look like it has some warts? Not that I've seen. And this is a year where one thing that's a little different this year from pretty much everything else is all of the blue blood teams that have been dominant in recent years. So you think about Ohio State, Clemson, Alabama, even maybe to a lesser extent Georgia. Not one of those teams has the has an, an elite, you know, NFL quarterback that that you're looking at, or a guy that has, that is just playing great football at the quarterback position. Georgia's probably got the closest to that. But you look at that Ohio State. If you watched them play the first few weeks, they're not what they've been at the, at the quarterback position, at least not yet. You look at Clemson. They've, you know, Klubnik's a good player, and he played really well yesterday. But a lot of teams would trade situations with Carolina in terms of their, you know, almost everybody would trade. I mean, maybe everybody, but but SC would would trade uh, for Drake May. And when it's a year like this where the the true blue blood programs don't have that elite quarterback, that Deshaun Watson or you know the elf or somebody like that. That gives a team like Carolina, who also has some blue chip players at, at various places and is pretty good up front, uh, getting better on, on, in some things. When you have a Drake May, you've got a puncher's chance even against those kinds of programs. So, you know, right now, if you're 4-0 coming into this point in the season, you try to regroup and get better at the things you need to get better at so that as you start to play against some of the teams in conference that are a, that are a step above – you're going to have a shot to you're going to give yourself a shot to have a puncher's chance in those in those cases. So I think, you know, first part, mission accomplished. Now you got to find out how you can get better for the remainder of the season.